Sup, Nerd Migos, the Jive Talking Nerd, John Norcroft. We've got Wife here. We're here for another review, Jive. Uh, so, uh, this one's not a movie, it's a series again. Uh, we are reviewing Netflix's Cursed, Cursed which is um, Arthurian adjacent. Yeah. I would say. Yeah. Yes? Okay. Let's uh, I'll read the thing. In a retelling of Arthurian legend, teenage sorceress Nimue joins forces with a young and charming mercenary named Arthur on a mission to save her people. That's I mean, technically that's not correct, wrong, I but guess. I guess it skips but... a lot of what's going on. So, <laughs> yeah. so uh, okay, there's a lot to unpack here. Let's just let's cut. Let's get it all real simple. So Nimue is part of the Fey folk. The Fey folk are varying degrees of Witchy antlers and antlers, horns on them, and forest people, magical of yeah. some sort. Um, and the church is. Uh, hunting and murdering all of these people. This is actually like a weirdly violent show. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. It's like, I always, like, like as we were watching it, I would like forget that people are getting like, like, eviscerated with knives and shit. Yeah. And then yeah. it would just jump to an eviscerated with knives scene. Yeah. It's crazy. It's also very anti Christian. Oh, yeah. The uh, church is. The church are the bad guys. Full here. evil in this one. Fully yeah. Full evil, the church. Horrifyingly Like, evil. real, real yeah. dark, man. So, yeah. okay, so the fake folk are being hunted by the church. All right. Uther Pendragon is the king of the land. He is just a, a wee little bitch in this. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, so he has Merlin, and Merlin has, I, I don't know. Merlin doesn't have all of his powers. Mer Merlin has some sort of a lack of his really powers, know but why. we're not certain why, nor are we necessarily 100% certain that it's, like, they make it certain that it's true. Yeah. But, yeah. like, whatever, you know? Um, and then, you also have some <laughs> Vikings. One of them's the real... The real one heir to the like throne, a, or yeah, something. Yeah, one of them's like a and good one of them's guy. a girl who's angry at the guy who's supposed to be the real heir to the I think throne. That, I think it's one of his daughters. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. Um, there. Yeah. So there's, there's also like a lot to unpack. there's a lot of stuff in this. Yeah. Right. And and this is the thing, is that we watch the whole thing all the way through, right? And it's not. It's not like a bad show. But it is a really awful show. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's just, like, it's not that there's anything, like, it's just so I mean, it's got, boring like, it's got good for what graphics. it is. It's beautiful, and, like, the costuming is good. And, and I it's, imagine like, the act, the act, shot you know. in great places. Yeah. The people who are doing the acting are generally pretty good at it. Yeah, they're yeah they're doing um, they're doing a pretty good job like, with it. But the story it's just... itself is very subpar. Yeah, uh, I... it's very much like what if. King Arthur was a girl, and that girl was like low key Daenerys from like Game of vaguely Thrones. Game of Thronesy. Well, uh, but... And I don't know that it was supposed to be that way, or just it's visually that way. But it's absolutely visually that way, and it really like steals some of that out of you. Also, like her acting chops are not great. She acts like um, very much like what's her name, the chick that's that's Bella from the Twilight series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where she has like one face, and it's like confused Kristen and like a Stewart. little yeah Kristen Stewart yeah. she has like one face and it's like confused and slightly constipated and she just basically goes through the whole series being so, confused so this is, this and is the slightly problem, constipated uh, or passing out she does a lot of passing out lots yeah. of times she gets passes out passes out Th this is this is the problem with the show all right at no point in time does she actually do anything badass of her own volition yeah. Right, like it's it's always her like getting kidnapped, and then one of these guys having to rescue her, or her getting knocked out, or her losing the thing, and it's just it's like there's fucking, a lot of giant eagles. It's fetch quest so after fetch quest eagles. after fetch quest, and it's just every every time something happens, it's giant eagle, it's giant eagle. Oh, she's fighting the guy, and she's gonna whatever giant eagle. Oh, like she has powers. Vaguely, that sometimes help 
and sometimes she just doesn't use, even though she's currently, like, in a dramatic situation where the powers that she's clearly shown she has would be helpful. Like, it's yeah. just... It, they're only used when, like, writing-wise, it's useful. Yeah. Right? I mean, and all these really, characters like... have these, like... All of the characters are, like, one or two things. And that's it. And then it. that's it. And that's it. You I know? mean, really, like, th there's a lot of other characters that are more interesting. Yeah. Like, Arthur is a more interesting character. Arthur's an interesting character. But uh... again, naming him Arthur, oh, th his name is Arthur purely for the idea that there should be a guy named Arthur in an Arthurian legend-based yeah. show. And, and this happens all over the show, by the way. All over the show. Oh, yeah, there's there like are, a Sir there Gawain, are, there are and like, we're watching it, and I'm like, I don't think that's what Sir Gawain did, and, like, what yeah. happened to him. But there's, so... but, like, there, like, all the Knights of the Round Table names are in there. Uh, yeah. Arthur's sister is, um, Morgana. is Morgana, but, like... I don't know. Whatever. The sh like the end by the end of season and one, maybe some, she's evil. And there's like I don't... some Celtic, like gods slash spirits. The way they treat that is really very interesting. Yeah. And um, and I don't necessarily mean interesting in a bad way. It's just interesting in a interesting way. Yeah. They don't. This uh, is the thing. They don't. <laughs> they don't explain a lot. There's 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 a lot of side shit in this, right? It's sort of like what if we took like some Game of Thrones politics. And we put on top yeah. of that some, like, church hunting people uh, stuff. Yeah. And then we put on top of that Arthurian legend. And then we put on top of that, like, like, power. like Vikings. Oh, yeah. Because there's Vikings, Vikings in this. Yeah. I keep forgetting that there's fucking Vikings in this show. And they're, the like, one of the best parts of the show. The Vikings are, this, are super They're super cool. But it's and but there's just Vikings. Yeah. All of a sudden, yeah. whatever. There's Vikings and there's Vikings on top of that. And then there's this weird god shit like council of of yeah. elder wizards who are like manipulating mankind in the background. Who are I guess involved, but really seem like whatever. There's just I like really meet a couple of them. So many things packed you know, into this, and it's just that it just, really loses the quality. Yeah. It, well, of nothing the gets fucking thought out. Like, we don't know really what's going on with the gods thing. And the Vikings thing is, like, because Vikings are hot right now. So let's put some... Like, I swear to God, the it the Vikings in this really feel like somebody was like, Hey, while we're doing this, why don't we put some Vikings in it? Um, You know, because Vikings are hot right now. And they're just yeah. like, go ahead. They're like, it doesn't matter. How about right? two it's, warring factions of Vikings? Yeah, it's, and they whatever. were like, oh, that's it. Yeah, whatever. And it's, uh, it's just, there's so much weird shit. One of the, one of the tribes of Vikings has like these like steel plates or something. Like, or like bolted, leather. Like, like bolted into their head into or skin, their skin? sewn into their head. I need to know more about it. Like what the fuck? Nobody, nobody's going to ask about that shit. I feel like that's the first question I'd ask. Is like what's going on Uther with Uther Pendragon? His mom is basically like she's like a poison queen. Yeah, she's like a poison queen. She's basically like one of the poison queens from Three Dark Crowns yeah. book series. And it's, it's, it's bananas. It's, but he's also like super wimpy and like kind of petulant. So yeah, he's he's, he's super very like is. he's very like Joffrey Worm Tongue. Yeah, well, it's <laughs> real talk, They're, and like the mom is like super, just like poison Cersei, uh, yeah, like she is. trying to manipulate stuff from the back, and, and it's this whole show is so fucking weird. Well, and there's all this magic stuff that like and the magic stuff is does cool, and doesn't exist, but they like don't really. D they There's either zero they either don't do anything with the magic stuff, and it's like, oh, the magic doesn't help at all. Yeah. Or they do a lot of stuff with the magic, and you're like, but that didn't, you guys, and yeah. the thing, I just, uh, I well, don't because, know. Like, 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 there's just, sometimes the magic is like this big thing. And it had, and it was, it wasn't that big of a deal. And sometimes she does like a thing, and it's like exhausting. And so, like, yeah, so, like, yeah. so, like vaguely, there's cost to magic, and like vaguely, there's cost to things. But, but the the worst part is the the thing that makes this whole movie, this whole series, so just intolerably droll to watch is that this chick at no point in time is like actually doing anything. Right? Yeah. She's yeah. just she's just being like 
pushed along in directions. And and when she does make choices, oh, she's gonna choose to fight her or whatever. Yeah. They they yeah. then fucking immediately like this is just a writing thing. They just immediately like devalue her because the yeah. sword is manipulating her, or they devalue her because you yeah. know Merlin saved the day. Well, well they it's do, like they it's do like they're trying to prop too. her up as this like savior queen standing up against the bad guys you know sort of like girl power over men sort of a thing but but in the, in the exact same sentence they are devaluing all of the decisions she makes and they are bringing to question everything she does and they are ha having everything she's doing either be driven by men in her life or be a f or like or basically be the men doing the thing and her just tagging along for it well and it's they do something bananas like, way to write like sort of similar to that but also not really at the same time where they like build up a character arc and they build it up and they build it up like one of one of Nimue's friends gets kidnapped by the church and then ends up at a dock and then ends up on a pirate ship Viking ship or on, on a, yeah, on a, a Viking, Viking ship. ship and like her story arc with her and like the Viking ship is super interesting yeah it's like, really really good. really good and really interesting and all of a sudden she meets back up with Nimue again be oh, like we're spoiler free, but at the same time, like this is pretty obvious what happens. Yeah. Um, you know that it's gonna Whatever. do that, and she meets up with Nimue again, and she's basically like, "Screw this, like super interesting Viking thing." Yeah, she immediately is just here. tagging along. Like I'm just it's... tagging back along with my friend, who, by the way, Nimue is the worst friend ever. Oh my like, god, yeah. Like, yeah, she she's... doesn't help her friends when they need her help, and when they don't need her help, she's super snarky to them for, like, zero reason, but she's not, like, it feels like she's not on purpose being snarky, like, ah, oh, that's how I show my love, uh, but, like, she's just being kind of a bitch. Yeah, she's, she's, she's like she's that toxic friend that other people are like, yo, that friend is toxic and you need to stay away from them. Yeah. What do you mean? What are you talking well, that's that, that's I mean like, and it happens with with several characters throughout the course of this. It happens yeah. with the girl on the Viking ship, and it happens with like with like crying eyes Kylo Ren. Yeah, well, is, <laughs> and it happens I mean, with Arthur, and it happens with Nimue, in fact, several times. Uh, and the only character it doesn't really happen to is Arthur, is Merlin, and Merlin is arguably one of the best characters. Merlin's in the, the entire only character show. in the show that's literally at all a character. The, the, yeah, this is the thing: the show was super pretty, and Merlin yeah. was pretty dope, and the Viking thing was kind of cool. But and this the magic was... stuff was also kind of cool. It, it just, there was like, there's no, cons this show is just absolute fucking bananas, right? There's no consistency, there's no logic to anything that they're doing, and and the main character just exists in this universe, and it's just like moved around, right? And, yeah. and just, and stuff happens, and we just don't address it, it's just, it's all over the fucking place. Yeah. You know, and, and like, I'm, this is the thing, right? I, I guess, in the grand scheme of things, uh, because they set it up for a second season to come out. When season two comes out, are we gonna watch season two? Probably. Probably. Yeah, At least we're probably gonna watch it. To so see. I guess it can't be like you can't really say it's that bad. But like, let me tell you what: there were times when we were watching this where like something would happen, and you were, you would just be like, "What the fuck just happened? Like what? Like not like you're confused about what it is. It's just like why." Th that had no bearing on the story, right? I mean, there are times when our main character, e even from the very beginning, right, all the way through to the end, she just, she does this thing where somebody's like, hey, like, come here, let me help you. And she's just like, I don't need your help. And like, kind of like freaks out on people about shit. And it's super weird. And of course, afterwards, you know, people are like, all right, well, like, hey, I'm just here to try to help whatever. And she's just like, okay with like, everybody's just okay with her, like, freaking out on people and I shit. mean, she does it all the she's time. She's just, like, super rude. I mean, she's, yeah. like, really not really the best character at all. Uh, this has nothing to do with Arthurian legend. I, it's pretty. There's names. That's the main reason why you should There's watch it. There's names in it that are Arthurian. It's pretty. And, like, uh, that's really about it. Yeah. Some of the fey folk are weird as shit looking. That's cool. Yeah, there's, the like, Vikings are ones. Cool. And then there's, uh, like, ones with, like, ram horns. A, they, show, they show, like, a like a tiny glimpse of fairies, and that shit is 
horrifying. Yeah. Mother of fuck. I mean, yeah, really, no, to watch know. this is to watch it for, like, the Fae Folk and for Merlin. Yeah. And Merlin is kind of like, what if we made Merlin kind of like... Jack Sparrow from Pirates of the yeah. Caribbean. Well, he's like, a, he's like, a, he's and then like the, gave him a motivation. He's like the dwarf from Game of Thrones and Captain Jack Sparrow. He is, yeah. He's, he's just he's, like he, he's, he's the Tyrion exact plus Jack. Yeah, he's Sparrow. Tyrion yeah. Jack Sparrow. That's exactly who this Merlin is. He's just like a shit disturber. He's funny. He's as funny. Shit. Yeah, and Holy actually fairly fuck. interesting. The stuff he yeah. does is kind of cool too. Yeah. Um, you know, you can. You, I mean. They do a good job with him, and they do a good job with, like, some of the, like, like, B-plot lore that they're doing is super interesting. And, like, yeah. the church is interesting as a, like, bad guys hunting fey folk thing. But it's just, sometimes people are, like, invincibly badass with a sword, and then five scenes later, they're fighting whoever the person is that we're next supposed to be paying attention to. And all of a sudden, they're just, like, barely able to do anything. They're just like, ah, I don't know. Oh, I don't know about any It's like they stuff. forgot how to do everything. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. crazy. People just ramp up and down in power just willy-nilly to support the plot. Yeah. Right? Overall... The, nobody that's good is good all the way yeah. through. It's weird. It's a yeah. weird show. Overall, it has very, like, CW vibes for yeah. me. Yeah. But, like early 2000s like 90s CW vibes. It it feels like it's written by a council of people and not like, like, you know, it's one of those like written by, written by like public opinion polls sort of shows. And it's like, you know, it hits all, it hits all the buttons so it's gonna be a big hit and, you know, I mean, I know it's pretty popular on Netflix and like we watched it so I guess they they got us or whatever (laughs) that dark shit is. We did watch the whole thing. But like, at the same time, if you're on the fence about it, or you're like halfway through, or something like that, it's not really worth it, man. Yeah, you're not, but listen, by the end, you're just gonna get, you're gonna be more angry. That there were scenes in that last episode where I was just like, "Fucking sure, yeah, whatever, just new shit, last minute, fine, do it. Yeah, I don't care." Yeah, I mean, whatever. overall, this was a really <laughs> good series to have on in the background. Yeah. While you're like crafting, if you're gaming or, or like crafting, doing video games, put it on. Games you're gonna look up. You're always gonna see pretty shit. You, you know? only have to pay attention to the dialogue and the action, like when you want to. Yeah. And then you can kind of like go away to your own. Yeah. Little and it doesn't world. really matter. You're not missing anything that's actually gonna elucidate anything yeah. else. I wouldn't call this a guilty <laughs> pleasure show, no. but it's definitely good for that. It's a good I craft would show. give this like I would give this like a two and a half. Out of five. Out of five. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a two out of five. Uh, I can't. I can't. In my right mind give it more than a two. The it's costuming just, was nice. I did. The, I did the, enjoy the costuming. The, the, oof. There's just so many things that are quite dumb in it. But <laughs> but that's it's neither here nor there. Uh, tell us what you thought. What's who's your favorite character? It's Merlin. There's no other answer. Um, it's definitely Merlin. Maybe it's yeah. the maybe it's the girl with the coin in her eye. That shit yeah. needed to be addressed and never was. Yeah. But um, yeah. Either way, like this video, comment below, share, subscribe, do all that kind of stuff. Ring the bell, whatever. Uh, I've been John Norgrove. This has been Wife. This is Review Drive. We watched Cursed on Netflix, and uh, yeah, that shit was lame. Don't don't watch that. <laughs>